Hello friends, this video on surface area and volume part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. Let's take one more question. The question says the solid consisting of a right circular cone of height 120 cm and radius 60 cm is standing on a hemisphere of radius 60 cm of this fashion. This is placed upright in a right circular cylinder full of water. So there is a cylinder, this is a cylinder actually. So I'll draw a cylinder in here so you understand this. So this is my cylinder actually. This is my cylinder. So in this cylinder, the one in the red is my cylinder. So in this cylinder, what they have done is they have put this solid, this is solid actually, this one is solid, solid, solid thing that the cubical and the hemispherical thing solid is there, this is put inside this cylinder and this is full of water, correct. Now the volume of the water left in cylinder, if the radius of the cylinder is 60 centimeter, this is 60 centimeter and its height is 120, total height is 120. So we have to find the volume of the water left. So what we can do? So now if the moment you put the cylinder, the volume, this extra volume will go out. See earlier, the volume of this cylinder will be the, the volume of the cylinder, the volume of water will be the volume of the cylinder. That will be pi r square h. The moment you put this cone, water will flow out and the water that will flow out will be the volume of this cone. So water remaining will be volume of this cylinder minus volume of this figure. Correct. See volume of water left will be volume of cylinder minus volume of solid figure. How I tell you? See, the picture is like this, there was one cylinder, cylinder like this, full of water. In this cylinder, what they are doing is, they have a solid figure like this, this is a solid figure. They are dipping inside this, they are putting this inside this. The moment you put this inside this, the figure becomes like this, draw the figure. This is my figure, the new figure. Correct. And some water went out. The water that went out will be the volume of this cone, not the cone, solid figure. So the water that is remaining is early it was having the water was this one, volume of cylinder. Now the moment you dip this, water came out. The water that is came out is volume of solid figure. So the water left will be volume of cylinder minus volume of solid figure. Now we have done this question. Volume of cylinder is nothing but pi. Let's suppose the cylinder will be R1. Let's suppose this is R1 and the height is H1. H1. So let this be pi R1 square H1 plus sorry minus volume of the solid figure. Volume of solid figure is this one. So let's suppose this height is H2. Correct, and this radius is R2, and for cone also it is a hemisphere also is R2 in the same radius. So this becomes 1 by 3 pi R2 square H2 plus 2 by 3 pi R2 Q. Correct, this is the volume of solid figure, that is volume of cone plus volume of hemisphere. So if you saw this, the value of this becomes pi R1 is 60. 60 square into h1 is 180 180 minus 1 by 3 pi r2 is how much 120 then r2 is 60 60 square into h2 is 120 height of the cone that is 120 plus 2 by 3 pi 60 q this is what the value is so if you solve this further, if 
you see pi 60 square is common so pi 60 square will be common pi 60 square will be common so this becomes 180 minus this becomes 40 correct minus 40 minus this also becomes 60 one this becomes 60 square into 60 actually because okay, 60 square and a common and this becomes 20 20 into 40 minus 40 thus i am solving it so this becomes pi into 3 6 is equal to 0 into 180 minus 80 that is 100 so this becomes 3 6 4 times 0 pi centimeter this is centimeter talking about volume centimeter cube and that is my answer very simple just understand that the moment you put this solid figure in this cylinder the volume of water remaining will be the initial volume that is the volume of cylinder minus the volume of water dissipation that is the volume of this solid figure let's take one example a spherical glass vessel has a cylindrical neck 8 cm long so this is 8 cm long 2 cm in diameter and spherical part the diameter of spherical part is 8.5 so radius is 8.5 by 2 that is 4.25 by measuring the amount of water it holds a child finds its volume to be 345 cm check whether c is correct in the above experiment the question says there is a vessel like this and one child has put some water in this and the child has found the volume of the water so with that the child is saying the volume of this vessel is 345 we have to check whether the child experiment is correct enough. to check that what we can do is we can just find the volume of this spherical uh, sorry this, this vessel and we will see if the vessel volume comes out to be 343 or not if it is 345 that means the child experiment is correct if it is not 345 that means child experiment is incorrect so if you see this this is nothing but one cylinder this is one cylinder actually correct plus one sphere so volume of vessel which we can see is nothing but volume of cylinder plus volume of sphere correct if you add these two this becomes the volume of the vessel so this becomes volume of cylinder is how much so let's suppose this be r2 and h2 and let's suppose this be r1 so volume of cylinder is pi r2 square h2 and volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r1 cube so we solve this this becomes pi into diameter is 2 radius will be 2 by 2 that is 1 1 square into h is 8 8 plus 4 by 3 into pi r1 is 4.25 4.25 if you solve this what you get is 346.5 centimeter cube now the volume which child found was 345 and the volume which we are finding is 346 that means child is incorrect correct i mean not exactly incorrect but partially incorrect because he has almost come to the close figure 346.5 and 345 not that much difference but actually it is incorrect it has to be 365.5 exact correct so you know that if you want to find the volume of a vessel what we can do is either we can find directly or we can put some water on this to the maximum and then we can take out this water and put in some vessel and find the volume of the water so the volume of this figure is nothing but volume of water that it can contain so by the experiment by putting water and finding the volume of the water the child found the volume to be 345 that means he made some mistake in the calculation also it is child so child are allowed to make mistakes so they have made the child has made some mistake in the calculation the actual value is 346.5 but the child found was 
3.45. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.